In today's video, I'm going to be making a crochet drawstring pouch. So this is what it looks like open when the string isn't like pulled shut. Just like that. It's basically a square with a ruffle on the top. And then this is what it looks like closed. It's more of a circular shape and you can tie a cute little bow in the back. So let's get on with the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get our pink or coloured yarn and make a slip knot. And then chain 16. So now that we've chained 16, we're going to do 15 single crochets along the chain. So we're going to skip the first one right here. So we're going to skip that and go into the second one. So insert your hook into the second loop and single crochet. And we're going to carry this on all the way to the end. So one more time, single crochet into the loop. And we're going to keep on going all the way to the end. So we'll have 15 single crochets in total. Okay, so that's the last single crochet. So now we've got a 15 single crochet chain. And what we're going to do next is chain one. And we're going to turn our work and single crochet across the bottom here. So the bottom half of your chain that you just single crocheted 15 into. So we've chained one and now we're going to turn from here this way round. So we're not single crocheting over here, we're single crocheting here. So now we are going to crochet 15 single crochets across the other side. So we're going to go into the first single crochet, uh, the first chain right here. Just like that, the first chain. And do a single crochet. And then we're going to carry on just like we did on the other side with 14 more single crochets so that we've got 15 in total on this side of the chain. So this is what it should look like so far. What we've done so far is going to be counted as our row one or round one. So this is round one and now we're going to chain one. And we're going to insert our hook on the first stitch of this chain here. So we're gonna, so we've chained one, and now we're gonna insert our hook here and single crochet. And then you're gonna single crochet all the way to the end here. So all the way to the last stitch of this row. So do 14 more single crochets and come back. Okay, now that you've reached the end, we are going to, just like the other side, chain one. Chain one. And insert your hook not into this area where you've chained one previously, but into the first proper stitch of this row. So that is up here. Here we go and single crochet. And now you're going to single crochet 14 more all the way to the end of this row. Okay, so we've gotten to the end and we've got our row two done. So at this point I have flipped it so that it is facing the right way around. So make sure that it is the right way around. This is gonna be the bottom of your pouch Make sure you've not got the back of the stitch to the outside, so it's going to be this way round with the nice stitches on the outside. So from here, you're just going to keep going round and round, but you're not going to chain one anymore. So we've got row two, and in total I did 24 rows, but you can really do as many rows as you want. So this is two rows, I did 24, and you can do as many as you want depending on how long you want your bag. So this is one that I've made previously with 24 rows and 
the rows just go up so you can really do it as small or as large as you like but i'm going to do 24 so we've done two already and you can use a stitch counter but i haven't i've just looked at this and this end that we've got and the opposite end is always going to be the end of my row so this is row two and then I'm going to show you round three and then I'll let you get on with it by yourself. So you're not going to single crochet, uh, do a chain up anymore at the end of the row. You're just going to keep going in a round. So that means we're going to single crochet into the last chain up that we did. So that is here. And it might be a little bit fiddly, but that is right here. Just insert your hook. And a single crochet and then just keep going all along so this is what you're going to do for each side just like I did here no more single crochets just going around in the round and meet me back once you've done 24 rows or however many rows you are going to do. Okay, so now that we've come to an end of all our rows, we can do a slip stitch into the next stitch and tie it off. So we're just going to cut and pull through. You can then weave in the end. So now we're going to create the white ruffle around the outside of the pouch. So you're going to get your white wool and we're going to attach this to the last single crochet you did. So pull your yarn through and chain two. One, two, so around the whole outside you're going to do three half double crochets in every single crochet. So this is the first chain here and we're going to count this chain two as one half double crochet. So that means we're going to do two more half double crochets in this same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook and pull through all three. And then we're going to do another half double crochet in the same stitch and again through all three so now we've got a slip stitch next that we did to tighten off our yarn but we're just going to skip over that and go to the next proper stitch so yarn over into the next stitch and half double crochet and then another half double crochet and another half double crochet So we're just going to continue around the whole length of the outside of the pouch until we get back to the beginning doing three half double crochets in every stitch. Okay, so now that we've reached the end, we can do a slip stitch to join. So just in the top stitch here, it's going to slip stitch. And then we're going to chain two. And now we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way back to the beginning. So just one half double crochet in each. So we're going to start off one, next stitch, so now once you finish you're going to do a slip stitch to join. So in the top stitch and then chain one and cut and then you can weave that end in okay so now we're going to add the letter or the personalization so i'm going to do the letter l i'm actually making this for my friend so it's not for me but it could be for me because my name begins with l2 so the first thing you're going to do is grab your white wool and you're going to choose the spot where you want to start your l so 
um, or your letter. So I'm going to start right sort of about here, I think. And so I think I'm going to start right about here. And then for my L, I'm just going to go up like that. So I'm going to insert my hook there and then my hook's inside. So now I'm going to grab the white wool and this part might be a bit fiddly because you can't really see what you're doing that well. But you're going to reach your hook through and hook your white yarn onto it so that you can then pull it through. Oh, I've lost it. So this might happen. But just put the white wool inside and pull that through through okay there we go so i've pulled up a loop through so the white wool is now going into the inside of the pouch so i'm just going to make sure that's secure and then i'm going to go in in the next little square here little space and then i'm going to pull up again another loop so this is basically slip stitching and then once I've pulled that up, I'm, I can just slip stitch that through like that. And make sure you're just making sure it's tight how you want it. And then you can just carry on like this and make the shape of whatever letter you're doing or whatever you're doing. You can literally make a heart, a flower, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to show you again. Insert. Feel, feel around and make sure it's right. And pull up pull up a loop and insert through there so that is how you make sort of the slip stitch into the wool okay so now that I've finished my letter L I want to make it a little bit thicker just like here so I'm going to just trace over um, or just go over in slip stitches just how I did before all the way back so the first thing I'm going to do is do a slip stitch just right next to here because that's where I'm going to be going down I'm making sure that this is all very tight so that it stays neat that and then I'm just going to keep on going down so I'm going to insert my hook into this space right here where I've done my slip stitches before so I'm just going to go like that and then I'm going to keep going just down the way I sort of came from. So insert the hook there and okay I've reached the end of my letter. So now what I'm going to do is just tie off the end by stretching this out a bit. I'm just going to turn it over, reach in and then just pull that through. Just pull the loop through to the other side to fasten it off. Um, and then we are going to, I'm just going to flip it a little bit. Oops. I'm just going to flip it. And we have our loop here. And I'm just going to chain one. Cut. so now you can weave in these two ends and then once you've done that you can flip it back round so now the last thing we're going to do is make the string part that we'll pull to close our pouch so you're going to start off by making a slip knot and then you're going to chain 55. Okay, so now we are going to slip stitch all the way back. So we're just going to insert our hook. And slip stitch back to the beginning just to make this string a little stronger okay now you can just chain one cut it and pull and cut and just pull through 
and then you can just weave in the ends and you've got your string done. Okay, so we've got our string and we've got our pouch. Now we need to attach it. So what you're going to do is turn it round to the opposite side and the string is going to be able to be pulled from the back. So you're just going to find sort of the middle. It doesn't have to be too accurate. And I'm going to get a bigger hook size so it, I can easily uh, pull this sort of through. So I've got a different hook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook in one of these top chains right here. And then I'm going to grab my string and just pull that through. So you're going to carry on just pulling the string through. So I'm going to go into the next hole right here, pull it through. So that later on you can tighten the top and then pull it through the next one. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way round. Okay, so now we've weaved all that in, we're just going to cross over the ends so that it's easier to pull it shut like this. So what you're going to do is we've got a little middle piece here. So we're going to get both of them through here and out crossing over. So that one's one through and then I'm going to get this side Around here through the same hole pull that through so they're both in there and now you're going to get each side from and put it over to the opposite side so this side from here I'm just going to pull through onto this side so I'm going to pull that through all the way to over here so this is the next hole space available that's going to go there and then this side is going to be pulled through here and then you can oh a bit of my ends came open a little bit but i'll just tie that shut later then you can pull that closed and open it up as you like so i'm just going to pull that shut and tie a bow and that is that and then that is this side so you can store literally so many small things in here that you need in your bag so now you're all done with your pouch